Almost every process in the body is the result of a carefully orchestrated cascade of events, elements that must be coordinated to come together to give a very precisely amplified response. Now amongst the most well studied, almost carefully studied of those cascades is that which leads to blood coagulation. How injury or exposure to foreign surfaces leads to the formation of a stable blood clot is essential to our survival. And medicine's understanding of that process, how to stop blood clotting when you don't want it to, or keep the process going when you do, has been essential to our ability to intervene. But also, it's given us uh, an insight into important but rare disease processes. When a blood vessel becomes injured, the first thing that happens is that platelets run in to try and plug the hole, and, and platelets are just broken down bits of, of old red blood cell. But that on its own isn't enough. You need to throw down this kind of biological chicken wire on top of it to stabilize the clot. And that stuff is strands of fibrin, a, a glycoprotein, which is the result of the coagulation cascade. And if you imagine that this domino is one of the elements of that cascade, you can see that all of them need to come together perfectly. And if any part of that chain is interrupted, then you don't get the perfect clot. Perhaps the best known of the genetic disorders of bleeding is haemophilia, in which an absence of factor VIII leads to sometimes life-threatening hemorrhage. But there are others, and one in particular, known as von Willebrand's disease, in which the absence of a specific biomolecule leads to problems with prolonged bleeding. Now that disease was first discovered in 1926 by a physician researcher called Eric von Willebrand, and he, confronted with a patient, a young girl in fact, who had problems with extensive bleeding, went on to trace her family line and found that this was a disease that ran in her family. And so, having discovered that disease, it would be several decades before we understood DNA and inheritance well enough to trace it down to a single gene that lay on chromosome 12. And that gene bears von Willebrand's name. <laughs> 